the truck or you don't want to put a bunch of holes in your nice truck um, this might be an option uh, this is kind of the way that I have it set up in here obviously very temporary because we're not keeping this in the truck because we have our mini split so this is what I've kind of come up with I just have it sitting on the passenger seat here running off the battery and again this thing doesn't need the battery to run you could technically plug this directly into your inverter of the truck and run it off the batteries of your truck and save you 500 bucks if if you don't need the portability of a battery so technically this thing came with two longer hoses that I took it as to stick them in the back but what I've come up with is I stuck a shorter hose the one that would typically go on the front here and I ran that to the window foam and that's the other long one then I have it piped back here Let's see if I can turn some lights on here I have it piped back here and honestly if it was me and I was going to sleep for the night I would pull this blanket down and now it's only cooling the bed area but I wouldn't use this to cool off of a truck I would use this after you've been running your truck AC all day long on the road to keep it cool in the truck now naturally at nighttime it's gonna be cooler outside than it is obviously during the day so it shouldn't have to work as hard right now we're in South Georgia I don't have my phone but if I had to guess I would say it's uh, probably close to 90 degrees outside and I think in a case like this if you're sitting in your truck during the day I wouldn't so much look at this as an option to cool your truck off I would look at this as an option to point this hose at you like you would your vents as you're driving down the road because I'm not I'm gonna do some more testing on this I'm just not sure if this is gonna be able to cool the truck off we're gonna go ahead and let it run right now maybe I'll put my silver. no let's not put the silver things in but what I'll do is I got my temperature gun somewhere all right so I got my temperature gun we're gonna read the uh, air coming out of this tube air coming out of this tube is about well it just keeps going down we'll call it 61 and a half but the temperature in this truck is about se about 77 80 degrees we'll check the roof here 83 up there and it's uh it'll focus here the lights messing it up somehow but that's reading 83.85 degrees up here in the driver's side 81 82 so what I'd like to do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull this pull this cover down to seal this area off again let's check the temperature back here we'll point it right right below the M of the max sign and that says 79 and a half degrees so we're gonna pull this cover down I'm gonna give it a little bit and we'll come back and check on this maybe I should pull these curtains too not that they uh, I've been meaning to get some better curtains some better insulated curtains but honestly with the silver things that we put in the window really isn't needed okay so 329 we'll come back at 430 and we'll check on this we'll check on the battery power and we'll check on the temperature all right one hour later it is now 434 looks like we are on four lights of the battery and uh, let's see what our temperature is 72 right under the M 72 it feels nice and cool coming out of this tube maybe the thing to do would be to put the tube directly on you as you're sleeping let's see what the temperature is coming out of this I don't know it doesn't feel too bad like I could imagine laying in bed I could sleep if it was blowing on me real quick before I forget let's see what the temperature is inside this truck 97 98 degrees in this truck so I think 73 is actually pretty good it's pretty hot here 